In this video, we are going to talk about acid gas processing or sweetening. Okay, so this is the first topic that we, we will be tested in uh, ACE exams. This is acid gas processing, and sometimes we call it the process of sweetening. Okay, to be able to understand this PFD or this simulation this is the one that you are going to be tested in you need to understand the process itself at the beginning we know that natural gas this is our feed so we have natural gas natural gas and this gas is mainly consisting of car uh, methane okay so methane or c1 or carbon one okay but most of the time during the production a natural gas contains other impurities such as we can have here hydrocarbon liquids hydrocarbon liquids so instead of being in the uh, gas phase so the methane is, a is in the gas phase we will have hydrocarbon liquids also we can have acid gases acid gases and by acid gases we mean gases that when dissolved in water it have an acid an acidic effect uh, which means it will lower the pH acid acidic gases such as hydrogen sulfide or H2S and carbon dioxide CO2 okay also natural gas when uh, during the production includes um, other uh, sulfur compounds sulfur compounds that need to be removed because it might uh, cause corrosion and finally it includes water okay for um, having the methane or natural gas with the specification that needed to be bumped in the uh, or uh, sent due, uh, through the pipeline or to meet the requirement uh, for uh, household uses you need to remove these liquids or the condensate removal so this process would be called condensate removal this is the first step after that for the acid gases to be removed we call it sweetening sweetening or acid gas as the uh, aspen tech call, uh, call it acid gas process okay and this will be the first topic through the exams acid gas process okay you will be given the process flow diagram done by aspen Heises, and you don't create it you just open it by um, through cloud share okay for sulfur components this two will be removed and for water to be removed or water river to be removed we use a process called dehydration okay also through the exam you will be tested in the dehydration this is the second topic okay so from this slide you will get that you need to understand the sweetening or the acid gas processing also dehydration in this video we are going to focus more on the sweetening process okay first thing first you need to know that natural gas natural gas could be classified into sour natural gas or sour gas or sweet gas okay this is this classification is depending on the presence of hydrogen sulfide and sometimes in some cases carbon dioxide too okay if the gas is sour which means it it has number one h2s or number two h to S and carbon dioxide so it could be sour if it only has H2S the presence of carbon dioxide make it more sour okay after doing the treatment here you are doing a treatment or the sweetening or acid gas processing name it whatever you want after the treatment you have a sweet a sweet gas this gas includes no h2s so it's important that the concentration of h2s is equal almost zero okay it but it can have some 
uh, carbon dioxide. So it can only include carbon dioxide. So for a sour gas, it can, the presence of H2S is enough to be a sour gas. But for the sweet gas, you can have some traces of carbon dioxide. Okay, this is important because the presence of carbon dioxide doesn't mean you have a sour gas. Okay, why we do this treatment? Why the sour gas is a problem and we no, need to do um, this type of treatment? Actually, as I mentioned before, the presence of H2S and also there is water will, will form an acidic effect. Okay, so we'll have an acidic effect. The acidic effect will cause number one corrosion corrosion because it might react with the pipeline whatever its type and cause a corrosion because of the acidity, acidity effect okay uh, second one is a problem re related to the combustion of hydrogen sulfide as we know h2s or hydrogen sulfide during combustion or reaction with oxygen we are going to react with 3 over 2 oxygen we will have sulfur dioxide plus water the sulfur dioxide causes air pollution problems related to air pollution okay so in all cases the presence of h2s will cause a problem whatever it's in its a form like h2s or it has a, a combustion reaction and turns to sulfur dioxide because it will also may air pollution number three is related to the third problem for the sour gas is related to the carbon dioxide okay so number three problems related to the presence of carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide as we know it's an inert so it doesn't easily react with other um with other components actually it's a product of a combustion reaction this is a famous uh, source of carbon dioxide so it's inert okay which means also it has no heating value okay no heating value what does this mean if we have natural gas that we are going natural gas that we are going to burn okay we expect a specific calories or um, burning or heating value or hv heating value from burning this natural gas but in the presence of carbon dioxide actually carbon dioxide is the product of this combustion combustion okay so it has no heating value it add no value to the heating so it lowers the heating value of carbon uh, of natural gas besides Carbon dioxide is a problem because it causes green house effect. Okay, so it's a greenhouse gas and it affects the weather. Okay, so um, these are the problems related to carbon dioxide. So to sum up, we we understand now we need to remove both sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide okay and to remove them we are going to conduct a sweetening process sweetening process the sweetening or the removal of these gases could be done by a physical solvent or a chemical solvent okay what does this mean you are going to use a solvent okay this is in a liquid form okay this is in a liquid form and this is also in a liquid form and you add this so you have now natural gas and this gas has also h2s and carbon dioxide so you are going to use a solvent that dissolve hydrogen sulfide and the carbon dioxide so you have a solvent here and it will dissolve it and will, this together will be removed and leave natural gas sweet okay so the gas after this process would be a sweet natural gas okay in this case for the test they are going to use amine 
And this amine solvent is a chemical solvent, okay? Because there is a chemical reaction that's going to happen. So here we are going to use amine and amine, okay, amine. And amine is a chemical solvent, so there will be an absorption, okay? So what we are going to do here, we are going to have natural gas with H2S and carbon dioxide. This is called sour gas, okay? And we are going to treat it with clean solvent our chemical solvent or amine solvent this is is clean it doesn't have any impurities we are going to call it lean or clean lean solvent okay after the process happening so here we have the sweetening process after the sweetening process we will have natural gas only this is this will be called our sweet gas and we will have our chemical solvent chemical solvent taking with it or removing h2s and carbon dioxide and in this case we are going to call it rich solvent okay so our clean solvent without any acid gases is called lean solvent. Our solvent or chemical solvent with the acid gas is called rich solvent. Okay? We have our clean gas or sweet gas and with acid is called sour gas. These terms are important because these are the exact terms that we are going to use in our simulation. One more point to be added. Here the sweetening is done in an equipment called absorber absorber because here the physical the process that is happening is called absorption absorption especially in for Aspen Heises exam expert exam it will be a chemical absorption okay uh, this will happen in an absorber so it's called absorption after that this rich solvent will be regenerated regenerated in the regenerator regenerator to do the regeneration process which means you are going to remove H2S and the carbon dioxide this will be removed as acid gas and again you will have your chemical solvent clean and clean okay um, the rest of the process uh, for example, the BFD will be discussed in, in the next video.